Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Good news for you sickos out there. <laughs> you sick freaks. Uh, Naomi returned to our TVs last night. So Jane Theory and I will be recording tomorrow. And the video for Naomi will be out this Friday in the latest episode of that car crash show. And tonight is the return of the Bat Whammons on the Kurt W. So tomorrow, uh, you will get your dose of cringe of Bat Whammon as well. But that doesn't mean that I haven't got plenty of cringe for you now. Because <laughs> holy Moses. I know we've got all that stuff going on with Loud of Dem Rangs. Return of the Kang. With the... Uh, the guy in the, the Amazon shill video pissing <laughs> pissing up on the side of the castle as they're uh, trying to show off uh, exactly how the influencers were bought and paid for. The influencers who, know, who knew nothing <clears throat> about Lord of the Rings whatsoever, of course. And then uh, we <laughs> I have just... You have to go see this. I have just watched an incredibly funny 35-minute video from Clownfish TV. As uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. As uh, they went into the uh, the advertising campaign for the uh, new Star Wars Battlestar Galactica Kylo Ren Rey Skywalker Palpatine uh, event. With the, um, what was it called? With, uh, Bruce Willis. Ah! Fifth Element. The Fifth Elephant. With Timothy Oliphant. Uh, the Fifth Elephant. Elephant. <laughs> it's got me as well now. The Fifth Element. Where their Twi'lek is smuggling stuff through in her belly. Just like they did in... The Fifth Elephant. Wow. This, I, I don't know. Anyway, you have to go listen to that video. It, it, I was in almost in tears laughing at points. But uh, we have another franchise that is still on the precipice of ruination. Uh, and that's, of course, the Marvel MCU. Uh, it, is, it is falling and it is falling from grace at terminal velocity at the moment, it seems. It, could it go quicker? It's terminal velocity. You need to do your physics homework. It doesn't matter. And uh, Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson, that lovely woman who isn't in any way, shape or form absolutely hideously obnoxious at all in whatever she seems to say do. Oh, but she does Taika Waititi. Uh, in his uh, polyamorous relationship with her and other women. So uh, she's okay. She's uh, she's fine, folks. She's got a job for life. As long as she keeps uh, doing what she's told, I guess. Uh, I saw that she had some scrapes on her knee. Doesn't matter. Anywho, her uh, character of Valkyrie is going to be called in the upcoming movie King Valkyrie. Tessa Thompson, the woman, is going to be called King Valkyrie. <clears throat> but as I hear you cry, but as this is normal, don't you? Didn't you see in the annals of history or the annals of history, Queen Victoria, King Victoria the First? I meant to say Elizabeth. King Elizabeth I. King Victoria. And of course, coofed up to the eye bollocks right now, King Elizabeth II. Oh, wait, no, they were, they were called queens. But uh, as I hear you cry, how dare you conform to, to, to gender normals? I was going to say gender conformities, but I just says how uh, how dare you conform. So it would have been how dare you conform to gender conform. Fuck it. 
How dare you adopt gender conformities, you bigot! If this woman wants to be a Kang instead of a Quan, then you let her be a Kang and, and, and the Quens can just be left alone. What is wrong with calling a woman a Quen? There is some weird fucking shit going on right now, isn't there? We can't let women be women right now. When I say we, I, I, I am not part of this problem. I am more than happy to treat women like women and talk to women like women. <clears throat> and if a woman comes up to me and doesn't want to be treated like a woman, uh, I don't care. Go f cough. I'm not playing your stupid identity games. Go piss off. You want to play them? Hey, that's that's fine. That's your prerogative. But if you want me to, to, to play your game, you go fuck yourself. Not interested. Not interested, lady. Uh, so, yeah, what is so wrong in Hollywood right now? To, uh, we, we're letting men win female gold medals in swimming and shit and breaking records and and people are trying to pat them on the back and say, oh, this is so amazing and progressive. While women's sports suddenly becomes a mockery and, and women suffer because of it. Women who have trained all their life to get to the point where they are to have an opportunity scoo scooped away by a man. And, and people living in fear that they identify as a woman. Because the mob's after them. Fucking hell. I'm telling you right now. Right now. Twitter shuts down today. 90% of the world's problems go away. Immediately, by the way. Not over a passage of time. Immediately. I'm just saying, if you want to brag about taking an organization down, feel free to start with Twitter. But hey, folks. <laughs> the cringe is real. So even though Tessa Thompson is going to be known as uh, King Valkyrie, uh, we got. I got some uh, amazing. Uh, God, Jesus Christ! Some amazing uh, bites from her here. She says, uh, "Oh man!" Earlier this year, Tessa Thompson seemingly revealed new powers her character would display in the film, before quickly backing off and clarifying her stance. Now, as you may have recalled, only in the last few weeks, Tessa Thompson said that she was. Uh, that they were going to explore her alphabetness in 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 Thor: Love and Thunder. This has got nothing to do with anything, folks. I, for some incredible reason, have absolutely zero interest in this film at all. From everything that's going on with Cancer Jane to this business, <clears throat> but listen to these these powers and how she describes them. She has weird skills, to be honest. She can sense when someone is close to death and she takes them to, to Valhalla, which is essentially the afterlife. Yeah, yeah, we know. She can revive people, but when she revives people, sometimes she ends up in their body. Oh, no. Which is a weird thing and can be quite erotic. And then, just in case your eyes haven't rolled into the back of your head, there's more. Just one short sentence to kill it all. One sentence to, to bind our hatred. And then she has superhuman strength and is essentially God. <sighs> Let's change the subject real quick. So uh it was the way that it was revealed that she's going to be King Valkyrie is there was a, a Lego set uh that's been pictured for the upcoming Thor movie and at the bottom where they have the characters and they have the names of the character uh Cancer Jane is going to be called Mighty Thor. 
Hemsworth is going to be called Thor. By the way, Cancer Jane is going to wheel. I won't say it. I don't want to give any spoilers. And then uh, Tessa Thompson is, it says, King Valkyrie. But speaking of toys, you know me. I love me some toys that arrived today. That beautiful, beautiful Batman. <clears throat> oh, God, it's beautiful. And uh, here's, uh, here's some uh, Thor and Mighty, Th Mighty Thor and regular Cuck Thor toys here. Now, of course, they focus on um, Cancer Jane. Uh, I know, I know. There's a little spoiler if you can see what she's holding, but um, that's uh, it's not a massive spoiler. I mean, you know, whatever. But my favourite image of this character is there is a an interchangeable head, so you can have Cancer Jane with the helmet, or you can have Cancer Jane without the helmet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Space Karen. I give you Space Karen, and she wants to speak to the King of Asgard's manager. Holy shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This, is, this is the kind of woman that picks up her phone and calls the police because black people are having a barbecue on the beach. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I can bring myself to watch this film. Uh, if it's, if it's so uber cringe <laughs> that I can uh, make a few videos off of it, maybe I'll make that sacrifice. But just with what they've shown off, told us, things that have leaked images that have leaked i could not give any less of a shit about this movie if i tried i feel sorry for chris hemsworth i'm sure he doesn't need my pity because he would have got paid an exorbitant amount of money and he might be fine just saying look you know do what you want with my character i don't give a toss i got paid in which case hey fair enough dude you took the bag that's okay now wrong with that you took the bag but holy shit, it's another, it's another third wave feminist Marvel movie. Yay! Go fuck yourself. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and YouTube for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.